Marvin the monkey loved to dream of space. He wanted to live up there. It was his favourite place. For hours and hours on end, he'd gaze up at the sky, yearning for a rocket to blast him up that high. That night, he saw a shooting star. Would his wish come true? Was it time to move out there? No other place would do. Just then, at the window, he saw a little face. A teeny weeny alien had come from outer space. The alien beckoned to him. Our voyage will start here. It's time now to depart the Earth and leave its atmosphere. So off they went to the edge of space, 60 miles up high, waving to all they left behind, the birds, the clouds, the sky. Marvin was delighted, having so much fun, as they accelerated and zoomed towards the sun. In the solar system centre, the sun's a star so bright, helping life on planet Earth providing heat and light. Wow, it's getting hot here. Time now to go and see. The first planet you could move to, it's called Mercury. And so our friends looked in awe at planet number one, the smallest of the planets orbiting the sun. Hmm, so many craters. It's a little bit too hilly. With no atmosphere to keep heat in, the far side's pretty chilly. So off they went to Venus, with an atmosphere so dense, it's the hottest of the planets. The heat here is too intense. Next up is Earth, where I'm from. I can show you round. The blue bits are the sea, you see. The green bits are the ground. Earth has animals and people, oceans, rivers and seas, jungles, deserts, mountains and woods, sun, snow, rain and breeze. There are buildings, towns and cities, houses, shops and cars. It's very, very different to Jupiter or Mars. If you visit properly, I can give a tour. But for now, let's move on to planet number four. Mars is a lovely colour, a sort of brownish red, but rocky, dry and dusty. I can't live here, Marv said. Jupiter's the largest planet with over 60 moons. It spins so fast it's stormy with whirlpools like typhoons. OK. How about Saturn? Sixth planet from the sun. Known for its beauty, it's the best looking one. Surrounded by its rings, made mainly out of ice, but also pretty stormy, so for living, not so nice. Last, Uranus and Neptune, but both are very cold. They take so long to orbit the sun, the years are long, I'm told. You've seen the solar system. It's the end of our quest. Which of the eight planets do you think you like the best? It's getting very late now. I've one last lift to give. I'll leave you on the planet on which you'd like to live. Marv thought long and hard of all they'd seen and done, the eight planets that they'd visited circling the sun. Living in space seemed tough, the outlook pretty bleak, although there was one planet Marv felt was quite unique. Space is hard to live in. I think I'd feel alone. Although I'll always love it here, I'd like to go back home. The next day, the alien had gone. Marv woke up all alone. Although he loved to dream of space, there is no place like home.